Morning, Margaret. Good to talk to you this morning. How are you? Good morning, Wendy. I'm very well, thank you. I'm just glad to say it's not quite as cold as yesterday. Yes, I know, especially <laughs> as we got up early to watch the children's races. Oh, that was so exciting. I think it bodes very well for the future of the sport. Uh, these children are very professional and must be great for the dogs because they're not carrying too much weight round the course. Yeah. And they only do a mile course, but the children love it. And I just think it's great for the future of the sport to see them so enthusiastic. Yes, and beautiful surroundings here. Oh, it's it? absolutely stunning. Yes, it really is. Absolutely. What do you think is the best way to get young people involved in the sport now? Well, I think that the nice thing is a lot of the families who, who come to these events, um, the, the people already doing the sport have young children and these children grow up a bit like the husky puppies. The, they're not tethered outside the vans, obviously, but the husky puppies start re really early. Um, they, they learn the business and I think the small children who come with their parents get into it from a very early age and hopefully they may tell their their friends at school and when they see things on video and camera I'm sure it must encourage new people to come into the sport and and let's hope so because it really is a very enjoyable sport yes yeah. and I think you know some of the handlers here don't you yes I do a lot of them are, are good friends from uh, way way back um, I have been up here before to enjoy the sport and it's just nice to come back again with CSJ who are sponsoring this year and it's just really exciting to meet up with old friends and catch up on things and and just see the dogs running so well um, it's just a really enjoyable sport for anyone to get involved in Oops. now I know that you're a judge of Borzois at, at Crafts are there anything any, anything particularly that you look for in huskies when you're when you're watching them I think you just need a, a really switched on healthy fit dog um, obviously nutrition plays a great part in that and this is down to the handlers understanding the dog's needs because it takes an awful lot out of everyone to do a sport like this so you've got to have a dog that's ultimately peak of its fitness and this is a continuous um, process it doesn't just stop when the sport stops at the end of the season these dogs have to be kept fit and well throughout the whole year and good nutrition and good uh, management plays a huge part in this and what are you, what are you looking forward to seeing today um, obviously today they're, they're really going into business because they've had their their run yesterday and now today I believe they are graded as to who ran the fastest yesterday I think they set off first today um, and they're all going out for speed today to try and be the eventual winner of this competition that's great thank you very much okay thank you Wendy